Hey students, it's Eric Magidson. This is Lab 2, Migrating User Profiles for your CIS 279W7 Windows 7 Configuration class. So as you can see, I have up all three of my virtual machines. There is the uh, domain controller, I have the B machine, and the A machine. So this lab starts on page 9 of the text. You can, of course, pause the video as I'm doing the lab I'm gonna go ahead and log into this machine and of course I'll be pausing the video when it takes time to do things like load machines and when there's multiple steps that are repeating so I'm gonna pause this and wait for it to come up or maybe I won't because it's coming up right now and we'll continue on uh, it says to go to the start menu to go down to control panel which I'm gonna do system and maintenance this of course is just one way to get to the local user accounts. Essentially what we're going to do is create accounts on the local machine. So although we're authenticated into the domain, administrative tools, computer management, so again although we're authenticating to the domain, we are going to create local users. So I'm going to come in here or I can expand right here, go to users, right click and say new user the first new user that they want us to add is Alice we're gonna go down use that magic password that we use for everything in our lab unclick the user must change password next time they log in and we'll say create at that point I'm gonna close just so you can see this there's our new Alice account if I wanted I could have a description I'm going to go ahead and pause this. The book says that we're going to do this for Ralph, Ed, and Trixie. So I'll do that and be right back. So as you can see, I've created those four users. Let me sort this real quick. So there's Alice, Ed, Ralph, and Trixie. We're done adding those. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and log off of the administrator account, which I'll do. And we are going to log on not to the domain but to the local machine as these users by logging on as the user it's going to create that local profile so of course I'm gonna switch users other user I don't wanna log on to Contoso so I've gotta begin by typing NYC CLB not a B and we're gonna the first one we wanna create is Alice and I'm going to log in as Alice. From there it's gonna prepare Alice's desktop, assign all of the files, the settings, etc. to the Alice account on the local computer. These are the things that we're gonna move um, utilizing the easy transfer tool. So as you can see I've logged in, I'm in as Alice. I'm then going to go ahead and log off as Alice and do the same thing as Ed. So I'm going to pause the video while I log in as Ed. As you can see, it's done logging in as Ed. There's the Ed account. So I can go ahead and I know I've logged in as Alice and Ed. I'm going to go ahead and log out. and the next thing I'm gonna do is log in to this machine under the Contoso administrator so that I have a network account again because as I run the Windows Easy Transfer on the Windows Vista machine here I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and first of all install the Windows Easy Transfer from the it's remember saved on the downloads folder shared folder on the domain controller so I'm gonna grab that and then of course I need administrative privileges to go ahead and complete the easy transfer so let me pause this while I log in so I've gone ahead and logged in as the administrator of course of the Contoso domain I went to start I started typing the RW DC01 downloads etc at that point it started to execute it went and downloaded the MSU file from the server as you can see it says OK to update so I'm gonna say OK I'm gonna accept the license terms 
and it is going to install uh, the Windows Easy Transfer software. I'm going to go ahead and pause it while it installs. So the installation is complete. This does take a little bit of time, so be patient. Don't start clicking around. Just wait. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm also going to minimize that. From there, I can go into All Programs. There's the Windows Easy Transfer. I can start up the Easy Transfer. I encourage you to read through this. You know, you can transfer user accounts, documents, music, pictures, email, internet favorites. That was always a fun one to get over for accounts, videos, and more. I'm going to say Next. At this point, I want to create an Easy Transfer file. Um, as you know, when you purchase a computer from Dell now, you can get the Easy Transfer cable. Um, I could do this through a network. I'm going to go ahead and use an external hard drive or um, you know, network share, flash drive, something like that. It knows that this is my old computer, so I'm going to click that. It is going to start going through. It's going to find user accounts on there. If you notice, the accounts that it's finding on the local uh, computer are the administrator, Alice, Ed, the original student account, and then it's going to look for some shared items as well. Uh, notice that although we created four users, Ralph and Ed, uh, we created Alice, Ralph, Ed, and Trixie. We only logged in, therefore creating user accounts on the local machine for Alice and Ed. So this process takes a little bit. It's going through and finding all those files. So again, I'm going to pause it until it's done. So as you can see, it did finish. So there's 16.3 meg of file for administrator, 16.2 for Alice, 10.2 for Ed. We've got the student account there. We want to go ahead and select all of these. If you had accounts you didn't want to transfer, you wouldn't select them. We're going to select all of them. Then, of course, we get the opportunity to give this file a password for security's sake. We, again, are going to use our magic password that we use for everything. And finally, it's going to ask where we want the files. So what I have done is instead of navigating to where I want the files again you know we could do the USB drive we could do an external hard drive I'm gonna save them back on the server so I've typed RWDC WAC downloads gonna call the file East NYC and then hit save and it's gonna go and save 138 meg out to the server as you can see it's processing it's gonna save uh, the administrator and then work its way down the list. So as you can see the transfer is now done. I'm going to quickly jump over to the server here real quick. Go to computer. C drive where that download the shared downloads file is and there's my east.nyccl so I know it's done. I will jump back to not that machine, that machine. Click next it'll confirm that it's done here's the file here's where it was saved in case somehow I forgot it says it's complete I'll hit close and we're ready to proceed to the next step so at this point once I'm done with that I can shut down the Windows Vista machine if I wanted to and I'm gonna jump over to the Windows 7 machine I'm gonna log into the 7 machine here real quick again as administrator on the domain because that's where I need to have file access back to the shared drive on the server. At this point now that I've logged into the Windows 7 machine here I've had to resize this window as you can see so I may have to scroll a little bit now and then I'm gonna go into start all programs under accessories here system tools in system tools I'm looking for the Windows Easy Transfer so if you notice I didn't have to install this on Windows 7 so I'm gonna bring up the Easy Transfer dialog box here and this should look familiar it's the exact same thing we saw on the Vista machine 
Now at this point, you know, how do I want to access the files, etc.? Notice, you know, items to your new computer. It's going to be an external. Now I'm going to say this is my new computer. Notice I could run this on a 7 and transfer files to 7. From here, again from here I'm going to say yes. Now it's asking me where the file name is. I'm going to do that. RWDC01 WAC downloads. Give it the file name nyceast.mig say open it's asking me for the password for that file I'm gonna say next and it's gonna start to open the selected easy transfer file this takes a little while so I'm gonna pause it well as it goes ahead and gets the file <laughs> Last time I did it, it took a little while. This time it didn't. Now I'm going to ask it to transfer. Notice I can select again just users that I want to transfer, even though I may have created the export transfer file with all the users from the old computer. Here's that idea that perhaps on this computer I want to transfer just Alice, and on another new Windows 7 machine I want to transfer Ed because they now have their own machines. So I would hit transfer and it'll start to prepare and transfer the files. It'll restore them, so I'm going to go ahead and pause while this happens. So real quick, as you can see, it's completed transferring the Contoso administrator. It is working on the local Alice account. It's doing the Ed account. Finally, it's going to do the student and then the shared items from our old Vista workstation. Now the transfer has completed. I can go ahead if I want and see a list of programs that you might want to install on your computer. Some of that is based on what kind of files were transferred in, documents, etc. Finally, I can bring up the transfer report. I can see four users, 145 documents, uh, system settings, etc. I can close this, close this and it'll ask me if I want to restart. I'm going to restart the computer at which point once it restarts I'm going to log into Ed and confirm that the files and everything for Ed moved over. Now I'm ready to I've restarted the machine I'm ready to test Ed's account. Remember it's a local account so I'm going to go NYC CLB Ed Try the fancy password. And it's going to say that it can't log in. Hmm, wonder why that is. Well, since we transferred the files, what we need to do is we're going to log in and try it without a password here, real quick. Now what the book states is supposed to happen here is I should get a message box that pops up. I try to log in as Ed and the first time with a password it tells me the password's invalid. I should be able to not put any password in there and get a uh, dialog box in order to enter a password. But since I can't do that for some reason, all I need to do is go into the domain account my assumption is that that would work on a local machine what they suggested but all I've got to do is go into the local account control panel system security down to administrative tools computer management into computer management local users users now I can just right click set password for Alice and go ahead and log in as Alice so there we are there's the lab uh, I again encur highly encourage you to do this lab yourself looks like the only snafu is the very last part but as you can see with just a couple seconds of troubleshooting I can go in and fix that as well because I'm connected to that domain 
All right, so do the lab yourself if you want, and we'll talk to you soon.